welcome back to my next video. I was going to paint the front of the trailer today, but due to conditions beyond my control, that being the weather, uh, I decided to talk a little bit about how to reclaim mineral spirits. As all of you know, due to inflation, mineral spirits, paints, just about anything you can think of has either doubled or tripled in price. Uh, I went to Lowe's today. Uh, a can of this cost right at $17. It used to be even higher than that. It was up 20 to $22 at one point. When I went in today to take a look to see if I could buy another can, they were completely out. So at $17 a can, people are going in and buying places like Lowe's and Home Depot out of mineral spirits that is odorless, which is the only type that I use because I don't want to have to deal with the additional odor. The uh, mineral spirits that all of us are using to clean up our brushes and stuff has become incredibly expensive. And again, this channel is about how to save money when you're working on your utility trailers, fixing them up into something that is actually livable. So with that being said, let's get started. So what I'm going to talk about first is uh, two different types of paper toweling. This one on the left, as you can see, cost me one dollar, and by no means am I uh, in my prov promoting uh, soft, strong paper toweling, but uh, I bought it at Dollar General. Uh, it's really good for what we're going to be doing today, which is using it as filter paper to filter the mineral spirits uh, once we've used our, our brushes and, uh, and cleaned them in some type of odorless mineral spirits. The one on the right is a more expensive paper toweling. Uh, it's produced by Scotts. Again, not promoting Scotts. Have no connection to them whatsoever. I purchased it at Lowe's. Again, I have no connection to Lowe's, or nor are they paying me for anything. But uh, I just happen to have a Lowe's near me, and that's where I happen to buy this type of paper toweling. It's much more durable. It's great for uh, cleaning the brushes off with. So I'm going to show you how to use both when you're trying to reclaim your mineral spirits and cleaning your brushes. Okay, whenever you're working around chemicals, always make sure you wear some type of gloves to protect your skin from the absorption of chemicals into your system. As you can see, I've got just a two pieces of paper toweling, which I'm going to fold in half here. And then I'm going to fold them again and fold them one more time. Now, in order to conserve on my mineral spirits, what I do, and it works out extremely well, is I use a water bottle. That way I can just, I have my uh, mineral spirits, it's the odorless type, I can put it on here, and that way I can really control how much mineral spirits I'm putting down on this piece of paper toweling. So you can see now, I've got that nice and wet. And the reason I did that is because I have sanded these and I want to make sure that I wipe off all the additional dust prior to actually putting on the stain. So I'm just going to go ahead and wipe these off. Okay, so I've got off all of these wiped off now and as you can see I kind of took it and folded it over as I was going uh, because when you get it wet like I did on one side it actually absorbs into the other side and into the back side now I don't throw this away so what I do is I open it back up again fold it over and what I'll end up doing is using this to actually clean up my containers that I'm going to show you when I'm reclaiming my mineral spirits. I'm just going to go ahead and set that off to the side, close my bottle so it doesn't tip over. And now what I'm going to do is go ahead and stain these real quick. And then I'll wipe them off with another piece of paper toweling. And then I'm going to show you how to reclaim the mineral spirits once you clean your brushes. Okay, so this is the uh, 
stain I'm going to be using. It's just a Minwax. Again, Minwax doesn't pay me anything. No association to them whatsoever. Um, I just happen to like their Ipswich Pine stain. So I've used the same type of stain throughout the entire trailer. And again, part of the reason for that is, is I don't want to have to have multiple containers with multiple brushes for different types of stain and paint and that kind of thing. Uh, I've limited myself to just one type of stain and then I have another container I use for cleaning off the polyurethane. Uh, even this stir stick, this stir stick I have been using now for over one year. And if you go to Lowe's you'll find that uh, even getting stir sticks now, I believe they actually may charge you. I don't believe that they're actually free anymore. But again, I use the same stir stick. I stir up my stain a bit. And now, using the cloth that I cleaned the, uh, the pieces of wood with, but on the opposite side, so that I don't get any type of sawdust or anything on them, I go ahead and I clean off my stir stick. Okay, so now I've cleaned off the stir stick. I actually fold it off to the other clean side. And I can still use this. Alright, so now I'm going to get my brush and I'm going to go ahead and stain these pieces of wood. Alright, so this is a 8.4 cup canister. Uh, it's used for holding spaghetti in. And I have been using this canister now for pretty close to a year. The paintbrush that's in here, I have been using for a half a year. So I have one container just for holding this particular paintbrush uh, for the stain that I use, which is the Ipswich stain. So this thinner is starting to get just a little bit cloudy. So I'm just going to take it out and you'll see the brush is just in phenomenal shape. Now I'm going to use the other two pieces of paper toweling I had and I'm just going to clean off the brush. Because I have these last two clean sides to do that with. And I'm going to have you take a close look at this brush. As you can see, it's in phenomenal shape considering I've been using it for a half of a year. And it's really not that important that it's that great of a brush. Now this is a high quality one. I do suggest that when you buy your brushes, buy expensive ones. Don't buy the cheaper ones. Because the expensive ones are going to last 10 times longer especially the way that we're going to end up using them. So I'm going to go ahead and just stain these quick now. been about 10 minutes so I'm just going to go ahead and wipe these off now. Okay, so it's time to reclaim our mineral spirits now. So, using our $1 paper toweling, I have a small little uh, paint container. And you'll notice that the paint container, I've drilled a hole in the bottom end of it, right? That's all I did. And then I built this little thing. Not much to this. 
It's simply a piece of wood and I took and screwed in these little legs again just some two by twos is all that is and then took my jigsaw and I cut a hole out that would fit my paint can so it just goes in like that that's all there is to that and then this little dish this is just something I purchased at a thrift store someplace and that's because it fits underneath here nicely for here that's all there is to it now what we're going to do is use our very cheap paper toweling which is what you want you want the cheapest paper toweling you can possibly find and I'm just going to hold this on here and I'm going to take our very dirty you can see that mineral spirits and I'm just going to pour it through this paper toweling There's still some left in here so I'm just going to go ahead and press on it a little bit to get the rest of it out and then I'm actually going to take this and put it off to the side because we're going to actually use that piece to help clean up the actual container itself so the container itself still has a lot of particulates in the bottom of it as you can see here so again, using the very same cloth, I'm going to go ahead and wipe, start wiping this out as best as I possibly can. Now keep in mind, I've been using this same container now for about a year. Okay, so I've used that one. Now I can still use my other one, right? A better one? Get in there and clean it some more. And finally, in the end, I'll use my last one. Okay, so I cleaned this the first time. So what I'm going to do now is just take my little tray, dump the middle spirits back in here again. Take this, wipe it out a little bit. Flip this around. And what I've done is I've now taken two pieces rather than one, right? And just doubled it up. So I'm going to put that in there and run it back through again. Okay, so that went through pretty good. I'm going to take this out, dump it in here one last time. Only this time, only this time, I'm now going to use one piece of just my regular. Taking my can, put it back underneath here again. Pour this through one last time. Okay. So I don't know if you can see this on the camera or not, but I'll show you anyways. I'll try anyways. 
this is what it looks like. So that's after it's been strained three times, right? Once with just the one sheet of really porous type uh, paper toweling. And then again when it's doubled over and then one time with this really good type. And now what I've done is I've really cleaned up the mineral spirits. So I can pour that back in there. I can take my brush I can now take my brush, put it back in here again, and you'll see it comes up just to about the bottom. Now I want to put a little extra in, so I'm just going to open up my drinking container and pour in just a little bit extra because you lose some during the reclaiming process. But here's the real beauty of it. You haven't created a mess whatsoever. So I can put the top back on this one. I can use my other piece to wipe this out. I can wipe this out. Stick it back in here. Close off my little container. Wipe off the remaining part of my table. And I'm done. Now what I'll do is I'm going to take all the paper toweling I've been using to do all this with and I'm going to put it into a fireproof canister, which again is important when you're, when you're working around these chemicals because some of them can actually uh, spontaneously combust if they get too hot. So I'm going to show you that real quick. Okay, so this is the fireproof container that I use in order to put all of my rags in that I use. So we used three pieces from the $1 roll and we used five pieces from the roll that was a little more expensive for a total of eight pieces of paper toweling. Now when I'm done and I get ready to leave, I always fold in my bags. Because again, if it did catch fire, I wouldn't want the bag to fall and start on fire for some reason. So everything is contained inside a fireproof container so that I don't have to worry about even if it gets hot, it's starting on fire. I've got my reclaimed mineral spirits and my uh, paintbrush, which I can use again. And like I said, I have been using this one now for a half a year. And I've gone through only about probably a gallon and a half of mineral spirits and I'm constantly putting on, uh, on stain and polyurethane on every piece of wood inside of this trailer. So I've only spent probably around $30 in odorless uh, mineral spirits, which is great because again, you're not dealing with the odor. So I hope you got something out of this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up, smash that like button, and most important, please subscribe. I hope that I inspired you so that you can inspire others because that's what life's about helping people to learn so that they can teach themselves how to better their lives, which betters the world as a whole. Until my next video, this is the Beat Harvest Man, signing off for today.